Hola everyone, hope you had a great weekend. I want to start my week by sharing a cool trick I've known for some time. I actually shared this in NPC forums like a couple of years ago. And a month later, I mean a month after my initial post, a Kairoli's mother ducker and I just stopped caring about this trick for some time. However, time later I realized this little trick and sidechain are completely different things. Removing drums allows you to play the sample in any pattern you want without worrying about the transients. And of course, it's, it's very likely that those transients destroy the group you're trying to build, right? So here I'm going to show you how to remove big transients, hats, snares, and kicks. And if you're after sustained pads, keys, saints, when you sample, I think this might be the solution for you. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so step one, find your sample and immediately identify kicks and snares. This trick works with any type of percussion, but for this example, I'm just gonna use kicks and snares. And my sample will be the intro of the track you see on the screen. Very cool track with funky vibes, lots of strings, and I also like the hats. Um, name of the artist is Sir John Roberts. Name of the track is Do You Believe in Fate? And I already down pitched the sample to prevent any copyright problems and whatever. So let's listen to it. Nice. So step two, chop your sample in quarter notes. If you want to know how to get this done in a, no, an easy way, please check my video on how to do it. I'm gonna leave the video, link for the video in the description below. And well, you should end up with chops that sound like this. Quarter notes. Big snare kick snare don't worry about the chops being too perfect for now because with this little trick we're going to clean all that mess by just using one knob one knob that affects all the slices and you're going to you're going to like this uh, if you want to like save time and and get this done easy when you finish once you have this type of slices Create a program with path parameters and load it on a track. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. So you must follow all the steps. Go to program edit and select all the samples. What we're going to do must affect all samples. So go to the envelope section and find the filter envelope section. I recently redesigned the looks and layout of this section but in terms of functionality, everything remains exactly the same. So now, while selecting all the pads, select filter low number one, low one, and set the cutoff to zero. Let's do it. Setting cutoff to zero, filter low one. If you play the pads, you'll only hear the lows like this. Base, like uh, nothing else. Okay, but now things get a bit more interesting. You're gonna find the parameter called depth and set that one to 127. So find depth and change that to 127. And this is what happens nothing. It's like once we do that, we notice that the sounds uh, the sound is pretty much uh, as if we never applied any filters at all, right? Okay, so this is my favorite part. Now move to the attack parameter, find the attack parameter in 
filter envelopes, right? Find it and start messing with it like this. I have it at 86. That was supposed to be the snare, but the snare is gone. 37. So that's how it works. You set the right attack and decay for all pads, and you can also do this individually. The filter envelope is basically just letting only the low frequencies pass. If you go for low 2 or low 3, that's your filters, the effect will be a bit more dramatic and you can also play with that. The decay value will help you clean the end of the sample. Notice that. If you couldn't clean your samples on step 2, play with the decay. It cleans mid and high frequencies at the very end of the sample. Like this. Can you hear it? Like you can hear the transient of the next chop because I didn't do my job in sample edit. I just wanted perfect quarter notes. But with this trick, I'm in filter envelope. I'm setting my DK, attack 68, DK 18. So it needs a bit more. Oops. 48, 48, very smooth. We're just getting rid of mid and high frequencies. And if the low frequencies of the kick are too punchy because of the kick of the sample being like really loud, go to the amplitude envelope and increase the attack value till you stop hearing that boominess, the boomy sound that you don't want. But be gentle because you also remove lows from the bass. So you don't want to lose much bass. You want to remove the transient of the kick, play with the amplitude envelope, specifically the attack value. And an alternative to this step could also be the compressor. You can set a compressor so it just cuts, you know, that big transient in the low frequencies. But try it. Like, this is how I've done it. On the screen, you can see that I'm on the filter envelope section. I'm going to go to amplitude. I already play with it. But this is attack zero. Oh, let's go for a kick. This is a kick. Nice. Now the bass is not as punchy. But the kick's gone, you know. So it's a trade-off. Yeah. Try to find that perfect balance and uh, you're gonna get it right. So just to conclude this, remember that you can use filter envelopes to remove highs or lows from your chops. And the steps are the following. You create a program with kicks and snares on the pads. You select all the pads in Program Edit, and then set the filter to low 1, cut off to 0, depth to 127, then play with the attack and decay till you stop hearing the transients you don't want. And you can also alter the shape of the filter envelope. Hope you find these tips useful, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers.